Kilauea volcano, the steaming water recently discovered at the crater summit, could trigger an explosion. The USGS geologists have warned us again that Kilauea is an explosive volcano. Leon Doyle of Express UK reports, Kilauea volcano spewed lava across Hawaii for two months last year, actually it was more than two months, it was about three months, destroying hundreds of homes, creating a new outcrop of land at the uh, East uh, Rift Zone and off the state's uh, biggest island. Now, steaming water is pooling at the summit of the angry volcano and nobody knows where it's coming from. It's not from rainwater because they didn't have that much rain, so it should be coming in from the sides, underground water. Kilauea volcano caused chaos for a small portion of Hawaii's Big Island from May to August last year when the active volcano spewed cubic tons of lava. The volcano is one of the most active in Hawaii and has regularly erupted for hundreds of years. Right now, the United States Geological Survey, USGS, is tracking the volcano, monitoring it, and it has not predicted any impending eruptions. What they have noted, though, is that steaming water is steadily pooling at the bottom of the volcano's crater at the summit. In their latest August update, USGS noted water has started to pool at the Kilauea summit around Halemaumau crater, and they wrote, cur wrote currently there are two small puddles. They began from what they saw forming in July 25th flyover and August 1st, and these puddles continue to slowly expand and they also deepen. Hawaii Volcano Observatory scientists with the USGS said the steaming deepening water Steadily deepening water is either the result of rainfall or groundwater at the site. Well, we know that they didn't have that much rainfall, so it must be the incoming groundwater coming in. Since experts detected no heavy rain at the site, they believe the latter option is the most likely cause of the slowly filling ponds. They wrote the local water table below, which rocks are saturated with, with water, is at an elevation of about 590 meters as measured in a deep hole drilled in 1973 about 800 meters south of Halimamau crater. The elevation of the floor of Halimamau is about 520 meters, 70 meters lower than the nearby water table. Now before the 2018 collapse of Kilauea's volcano summit, geophysical data suggested that the water table near Halimamau was at about the same elevation as the drill hole, but it was apparently drawn down during the collapse. The water table is likely recovering now, and as it rises, water inundates low areas such as the crater floor. And while the rising water itself indicates the volcano is still dormant, the depth of the pool could determine potential hazards in the future. The report explains another summit eruption in Kilauea could become explosive. And they said the total thickness of the water body impacts potential hazards. A mere puddle would scarcely affect the next summit eruption, but if rising magma had to penetrate several tens of meters of water, an explosive scenario that has played out in the past could repeat. The result could turn a lava fountain, a spout of lava from within the volcano, into a power of full explosion. Now you'll notice that uh, we just, uh, one of my previous videos having to do with Kilauea, we looked into the uh, Hawaii Volcano Observatory and we saw that there was deformation. The Kilauea volcano hit by deep quakes from magma filling cracks. Crater water increased magma rising. You'll see that uh, three videos before this one. Uh, there is a deformation in the past few days and weeks and months, and it's inflating, showing that magma is rising. And also we've had a, today just a two magnitude quake uh, just uh, southwest of, Kila, of the uh, Halemaumau crater, which was at a 43, 42, 43 kilometer depth, which is pretty deep. It's in the area of the magma-filled cracks below the area of where most 
earthquakes are. This is not shallow. 42 kilometers is pretty deep. So something is going on there. Uh, this is from Express UK. I'll, I'll leave a link below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.